Hi, this is Diana, your favorite astronaut, and my telescope is ready, and I am going to photograph the Splinter Galaxy. The Splinter Galaxy is 40 million light years away, and I'm going to photograph it right here from my backyard. Amazing. Very good, so I am ready to start my imaging session. My uh, gear is connected in sequence generator, which is the program uh, that takes all the photos. So camera, filter wheel, Pegasus uh, focuser, and my telescope right here are ready. Now it's time to go to Stellarium, the planetarium software, and find the target. One of the most exciting moments every night that I uh, start my telescope is to connect it. Uh, I love to see it go in that ball <laughs> right here on top of Polaris. So let's just go ahead and connect my telescope. Ooh. <laughs> That's me, Skywatcher. So we are connected. So I am going to do a one star alignment. Um, let me just go ahead and move this star here right in the middle. That way the telescope can be more precise and find the target faster. So I am moving to the north. And we're just going to try to put it here in the middle. so confusing sometimes once the telescope starts moving positions I don't know where west and north and east is anymore <laughs> we are moving west let me just lower here the uh, speed of the telescope and I am going to move more now a little bit towards the south okay now I'm just going to sink Right there. Good. Pretty. Now it's time to go and uh, find the Splinter Galaxy, which is NGC 5906. So let me just go ahead, and this is where we're going tonight. The Splinter Galaxy. Look how pretty. Oh my god. This is very exciting. Okay. And remember, it is 40 million light years away. So let's just go ahead and call my wonderful telescope, Skywatcher Telescope. Let's just call it current object, zoo, and go. The good thing is that it is located uh, above Polaris, as you can see right here. So I'm not too far from the place that I'm parked. There you go. Okay. So now let's go ahead and check on Shark Cup and be sure that we are done. Here it is. We're going to see it better once I start taking uh, my first uh, test photo. There it is. That should be pretty good center. Okay, very good. So let me just go ahead and find, uh, wow, right there in the middle. Pretty good deal. Okay, let's go back to sequence generator. And now it is time to take a test photo. And I am going to do the blue color at 40 seconds. <gasps> and there it is, the Splinter Galaxy. Woo, pretty. And now I am going to prepare all of my imaging session and then I'm going to watch from the house. Very good, so now I am back to the house and I am going to check uh, how the uh, telescope is doing out there. So let's just go ahead and check it out. I am using a connection with the router 
and that way I can watch from the house and I can also watch from my laptop. This is a live view. This is exactly what's happening out there in the telescope. So far, um, it's taken seven frames each. I should change here, uh, this one to 30. Um, and let's see how it looks. I am using the blue color, the blue filter. And there it is. That is my splinter galaxy. Let me just get the uh, infrared out. I have to put an infrared uh, on the monitor and the uh, sky dome uh, because lights affect everything goes through the telescope but here it is this is the splinter galaxy and it is working great i am going to be photographing probably about three or four hours tonight it's one of the best nights so far they just took another photo and let's see what happens at the end Pretty!